Alaska 1900. Logan emerged from the ice-covered beaver lodge, alone in the wilderness. After skillfully skinning the animals and wrapping their pelts over him, he headed to a nearby cave, his temporary fortress in this harsh northern territory, to find solitude. A century had passed, but Logan still preferred isolation from humanity at any cost, but the tranquility was disrupted when a ship arrived, slicing through the snow-covered landscape. From its metallic pole emerged the Predator, a relentless interstellar hunter, which began scanning the surroundings and eventually found the frozen remains of one of its own covered in spears and arrows. After the townspeople killed the Predator, it sought revenge. Logan went into town, a location he rarely visited, to visit the Scar, a logger post. He visited trappers and miners briefly to gather supplies or have a drink. In a dimly lit tavern, he saw an old woman talking to a desperate man looking for someone brave enough to do a dangerous duty. Logan ignored the man's approaches, but he kept buying drinks until a bottle appeared. Wolverine wasn't interested in talking, but when two locals saw his furs and suspected hidden treasures, they became covetous and brandished a revolver. Logan shattered a bottle against one man's face, used a chair's legs to hit the other, disarmed one, and drove a knife into another's foot. The gunman fired while missing Logan, incapacitating both assailants before leaving the bar. Inspired by Logan's prowess, the proposal's author said that his son had been kidnapped and held for ransom. The predator hunted mountain goats, cougars, and killer whales in the snowy highlands. After returning to its base, it saw a tiny plume of smoke flowing into a native village tucked in the trees. Its cloaked presence went undiscovered as it prepared to strike. Logan and his new friend proceeded farther into the wilderness in the blizzard, their horses becoming more agitated. They discovered grisly images of skinned and hung people, whom Logan recognized as the peaceful indigenous people he respected. This discovery infuriated him, but he was unaware of the predator lurking in the shadows. Approaching a cabin with flickering lights in the raging fire, Logan kicked open the door, dispatching four men inside, but the man who hired him shot him in the back before he could ask where he was. A former ally turned traitor, the man tried to flee, but a shot burst his brain, revealing the predator, who fought Wolverine. In the struggle, the predator was injured and showed its face, while Wolverine broke his claws on one hand. The predator impaled Wolverine with a spear before caring for its own injuries. Wolverine, wounded but alive, limped away, thinking the bear had killed the predator. Many years later, Wolverine and Team X, a group of skilled operatives that included Sabretooth, were sent to suppress a guerrilla force planning a coup in the jungles of South America. However, they found a skinned and hanging guerrilla force member. The grisly image brought back memories of the predator, a relentless hunter. Five predators emerged from their cloaks to fight Squad X. Like and click the notification bell if you liked this video. Hope to see you next time.